So then you go into the presentation that you have prepared. Now I remind you from earlier in the presentation, you focus language. And I suggest that you come up with a list with your team of you focus phrases that you have in your back pocket. What we mean by back pocket, they are prepared, they are there, they just come out when you need them. But you can feel confident. Perhaps you agree. How often have you, in your experience? Now, as you're concluding your presentation, you review based on their interests, which is your challenges, opportunities, interests, whatever they called it, you review. If you have used case histories, you'll say, just like the ABC company. Or how do you review? Then you, you might say, based on what you have heard, what are your specific questions? If you have a complex sale, a lot of my clients in Silicon Valley, of course, it's a very complex explaining technology to non-technical individuals. Perhaps I would suggest with them is at the end of each talking point, you ask if they have any specific questions before you continue. What is your next logical step? Is it a demo? Is it needs analysis? Make your recommendation. Again, thank them for the opportunity to discuss how the ABC company will be better off doing business with you. And then your last words linger. And it could be after you shake hands and say, remember. So I challenge you to think. What are you now saying? What is the order that you say it? Could you restructure it more around the information that you get? Or you probably are doing it now. Can you make it more obvious you listened? Make sure you have you-focused remarks. And don't forget, rehearse. As the Oscar winner, fellow British actor, Michael Caine said, rehearsal is the work, performance is the relaxation. Many of my clients believe that once they got their presentation together and the PowerPoint, they're done. No, I always tell them, you're halfway done. Now you've got to get it in your body. Last uh, Friday, I was with a client uh, in, in Phoenix, and they, were, they thought, well, we probably are the front runner because we've done business with this company already. However, it's a $2 million sale, which is big for our company, and we're talking to the procurement officers who don't have a relationship with us. So they spent three sessions together going through what they thought they would say, putting together their PowerPoint. And then we got together and Mike, Mike said to me, oh, we'll probably be, th we'll be through at two o'clock. I said, well, my, my flight's at 8.30. We got together at nine, a 30 minute presentation, three different presenters. We all staggered out at 5.35 because they knew what they were going to say. They had not found a way to say it. You focused. Include the success they had with the, the company already and sound different from everybody else. Another of my clients, I, this was a company who sells pension plans for large organizations. And I was hired to help the professionals who go in and then explain to the employees how you apply, how you make choices, how you deal with our company. 
And the sales team found out was there. So the national sales manager and two of their salespeople came in and listened in. At the end of lunch on day two, the national sales manager got up and said, the sales team were talking at lunch and we decided we have absolutely no idea how we've sold anything before we heard Patricia. For them, it takes a year to have a one-hour conversation, which if they win the business, in five years is worth $20 million. And I said, well, when you're about to give a presentation after a year's worth of work, how long do you rehearse? And I expected them to say, well, the week before, we get in the boardroom and we go over the presentation. And we bring a team in to listen, get them to, to, to give us all the tough questions that they, we might hear. Then we bring another group. Then we with video, we review. That's what I expected, a week's rehearsal for $20 million after one year's of work. You know what they said? If we're lucky, we'll run through in the back of Mary's car before we walk in. Ladies and gentlemen, life is a series of sales situations. Every day you sell yourself, your ideas, your products, your service, your point of view, your value. And everything else being equal, your presentation will make the difference. Is it you focused? Is it structured around what your potential customers and clients want, need? Or I have, how they've identified the challenges? Is it focused around them? Does it open well? in a way that is different, friendly, focused, tight, and specific. And as you walk away, do you deliver last words that linger? Because when everything else is equal, your presentation makes the difference. Did you notice there were no you knows? You see, those are pause fillers, and they're wasting time. They, they take us away from excellence. So, Patricia, that was golden. I've got a, pages full of notes back there, so I learned a lot.